Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have released a slick new video highlighting the impact of their Archwell Foundation over the past year. The one-minute clip, shared by the royal couple, shows people and causes the foundation has helped throughout 2023. But the release, which came just hours after the Princess of Wales was praised for the sweet footage of her and her children at a baby bank, is raising eyebrows in royal circles, with some questioning whether this is a case of anything Kate can do, we can do better. Joining me now is royal commentator Emily Andrews. Emily, good to have you on board the show. I mean, you know, sweet footage, isn't it? You know, it's, it's, it's Meghan and Harry being nice to other people, who, you know, who are less fortunate than they are. Anything wrong with that? Yes. No, well, on the one hand, Vanessa, let's just say it is beautiful, obviously slickly shot, as you would expect from Harry and Meghan, very celebratory, very laudatory, haven't they done well helping all these people? But I think the issue here, perhaps, has got those eyebrows raised, is the timing. Obviously, we saw that lovely video yesterday from Kate where she took George, Louis and Charlotte to a baby bank last month and she was, they were helping out volunteers. Hearing they were picking presents for children. And crucially, this report on the Archwell Foundation and this video is normally released in January. That's when Archwell have done it every year. But of course, this year they're releasing it in December. So that's why people are saying, well, of course, if you know Kate can use her children to get such good publicity, we, Harry and Meghan, can play that game too. And and do you think it is a game? And do you have any sources that would lead you to believe that there are kind of <laughs> conversations going on behind the scenes of the Sussexes Archwell Foundation saying, oh, quick, you know, Kate and William have released their uh, film of, of, of the children doing really lovely, sweet kind of uh, present giving. Quick, let's get our film and rush it out right now. Or do you think that they could legitimately argue this was pure coincidence? No, I am always a fan of the cock-up, not conspiracy explanation for most things. And I know, you know, Harry and Meghan do have form. I mean, I know from my reporting on the then Cambridges, William and Kate and Harry and Meghan, both couples felt under pressure to kind of keep up with the Joneses when, when all four were in, still in the UK. And there was competition between the four of them. I think literally, because there's the Atlantic between them, this sort of chat of, you know, competition and one can do better than the other, it is a little bit kind of flammed up. Because when you are putting out press releases and when you're putting out reports, I think these things are planned weeks in advance. And we, you know, the rotor didn't know anything really about Kate video with Louis Charlotte and George, charming though that was. So for me, it's entirely coincidental. What I don't think though, Vanessa, mm. is coincidental, is that Archwell, this, this lovely video that Meghan and Harry did, Archwell have also released its report, its financial reports and its income tax return in the US. And it reveals that last year, 2022, they had a drop in donations of 8.6 million pounds. So for 2021, I think they had in, in the realms of about 10 million pounds, but last year they had just, in inverted commas, 1.6 million pounds. So for me, this video was more an attempt to perhaps take away from that piece of information, which I do think, as I mean, you know, Archwell is not for profit, but it's still quite worrying if your charity donations have dropped by that amount of money. And, and explain how you give money to the Archwell Foundation. Are, are people in the United Kingdom supposed to contribute to that foundation? And and isn't, isn't it a little mysterious? You know, not quite 100% sure quite what the Archwell Foundation does. So is it quite obvious why donations have fallen? Well, I think, so initially, the 2021 figures, which were very high, I think one donor gave a huge amount of money in the, in the realms of about several million pounds. And I think that their modus operandi at Archwell is to target individual philanthropists, individual donors. Now, no one is named, so we don't know who they are, but we do know that Harry and Meghan do have a number of very wealthy friends, so it could have been one of those. Their MO is to, is to have individual donors, not really for the likes of hoi polloi like you or I, certainly not Brits, because as we know, their um, popularity in the UK is not particularly high. Yeah. But um, there's also, although Harry and Meghan don't take an income, there's also a lot of costs. In fact, the, the income tax um, uh, records show that Archwell was operating at a loss last year. It, it employs five people. And it's uh, the, the um, former Kensington Palace staffer 
James Holt, who's in charge, it earns, I think, £180,000 salary, so a big salary. So their costs last year were more than actually they got in donations. So last year, technically, they operated at a loss. It's important to say that Harry and Meghan aren't taking uh, an income because it's a not-for-profit, but of course, anything that they might do, for instance, that summit that we saw them at, that mental health summit that we saw them at in New York a couple of months back, that is a cost to the charity. And, and when Harry states in spare, when Meghan has given interviews and said what it is they hope to achieve in the United States, you know, they're in Montecito, they can operate uh, uh, with autonomy, they can decide what they do, they don't have to be told by the court, I mean, the, the royal courts, they don't have to be told by anybody what to do, they can just decide. What is it they set out to do and are they doing it? Well, that's a good question, Vanessa, because as with everything with Harry and Meghan, there are many differing opinions on that. I think if we take Harry and Meghan's words for a starting point, they wanted to, as you say, be autonomous and they wanted to serve service and duty, which many would say is the kind of bedrock of royal life anyway, the royal family here in the UK. They wanted to do that. They've chosen to do it through grant making from Archwell. For instance, they've given money to World Kitchen, which is a charity that sets up um, food banks, soup stations, when there are huge natural natural disasters like tsunamis or um, you know, or you know, man-made ones like civil wars. They have don't she Megan has donated money to helping school girls in Nigeria. They have um, Megan as some of some of our viewers may remember rather controversially went and sort of did um had photographs taken at the Uvalde shooting in Texas where there was a school shooting and a number of school children were tragically killed. She went and um, placed flowers at a sort of makeshift shrine. <clears throat> and she also, the Archwell Foundation, also um, funded, um, according to their records, some money to a play group and a playground. And I think that the way that they want to do is by funding community charities, that's very much their model. Are they succeeding? Well, of course, that's for us to decide, isn't it, Vanessa? It's in the court of public opinion. Are they successful? I think they are taking the model of the royal family, which is that duty and that service, and trying to replicate it in America. But for a lot of people, the only thing that they are improving or trying to improve is their own self-image. Thank you very much indeed, Emily Andrews there. Coming up